Welcome to today's episode on the YouTube channel Justin Loves the Tech. Today we are going to be comparing thermal compounds, whether the Deep Cool Z3, the Antec Formula 7 Nano Diamond, the Ceramic 2 from Arctic Silver, the Mass Cool Fanit 420, the Arctic Silver 5, which there are plenty of people that will only ever use this and claim it's the best, and the Arctic Alumina, also from Arctic Silver. Now the first thing you want to take into account for is quantity, um, because if you're going to buy a lot, it's going to be cheaper per unit than a little. Um, here I got this Ceramic 2, and it only cost me 36 cents an ounce for this, when this little one here, which is only like one and a half or two, cost me $1.85 per ounce. So it's much cheaper in bigger amounts, the smaller amounts is really all you need. Um, for the average person, but if you're going to do several computers, I recommend getting a bigger amount. We're going to test them out. The way we're going to do this is we're going to put them on our test bench and run Prime 95 and um, run it for about 20 minutes and just see what the temperatures are afterwards and yeah, that's what we're going to test it with. Let's look at our test bench now. Okay, so today's test platform, test bench, is a IBM System X3650 server. Um, it's still a server, it's just the powerfulest computer I got. Most powerful, so I'm going to be using it. Inside of here, we have down, have 18 gigabytes of ECC DDR2 RAM, and we have one CPU in here, not two, but one CPU. It is a Intel Xeon E5430 quad core running at 2.66 gigahertz, no overclocking, um, and we've got a discrete graphics card, and that's our test bench. Okay, let's get started. So in actuality, we let this server run for 45 minutes um, per compound. You might be wondering, why do you only run it for 45 minutes? Well, tested it out on this server. Um, I ran it overnight with a compound. Then I let it cool down, ran it for 45 minutes. It gave me the exact same temperatures and clock rates. So, I figured we'll just go ahead with that since it's more manageable than a bunch of 9 hour periods. So, popping up now should be the results. So, as you can see in the results, they all ran within 3 degrees of each other. So, there really hasn't been a difference shown here. Um, I also tested with no thermal compound and proved that it's actually doing something. And it clocked way above what the rest was doing. So, there really is something going on here. Now I figured, okay, they're all running the same temperatures, so let's see what happens with the clock speeds. The clock speed didn't really vary over the different thermal compounds. So, what's my conclusion? I'm here to tell you the thermal compound doesn't matter. If you go with anything that's well known, you're good to go. You don't have to spend a whole two and a half dollars per ounce. Any well known brand, go ahead and go with. Alright, so you watched the video, you learned some stuff, but that's not all. Right now, if you look down in the description below, there's a link to my website where you can sign up to win one of these thermal compounds shipped directly to your door. All of the thermal compounds, including the Arctic Silver 5. All of these thermal compounds have enough for several applications, and if you run a computer build or repair place, I will have a special little checkbox you can check for these guys here. If you don't, you're just doing a normal PC build, please don't check this as this is enough for a whole lot of PCs. This will cover everything you'll ever do. Now, just check down the link below. Before we give these away to you, the viewers, you're going to have to help us out. These will be drawn and given away once we reach 20 subscribers and this video has 250 views. Until then, you can sign up and um, get ready and once we reach that goal, You'll be sent an email if you win, and you will have one of these shipped free directly to your door. So, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and get those counts up there so that we can give away these compounds. I mean, don't you want to win your Arctic Silver? So, you guys might be wondering, well, what's up next with Justin Loves the Tech? Why should I subscribe? Well, got a few things coming. I've got plans for unboxing videos, build videos. Um, if you're interested in that, if you want me to do more uh, practical testing, just let me know. Um, post what you want me to do next in the comments down below, and we'll try and work it into our show.
also coming up, if you're interested on it, it'll probably be on another channel, but I'm going to be going over all of the generations of Microsoft Flight Simulator. From the early ones, I don't quite have a copy yet, from the 1980s, and some of them maybe back into the 70s. All the way up to the one released in 2012, Microsoft Flight Simulator X, the final line. So I'm going to be starting at the very beginning and going through and telling you guys, why is this one better than this one, this one better than this one? What improvements were made in Flight Simulator 2000? So, if you're interested in that, just let me know. Um, please let me know anything you'd like to see on this channel. Do you want to see this here, or do you want me to put this on another channel? Thanks for watching.